Hi, this is Mrs. Slater, and uh, the quote of the day is, surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. That comes from Oprah Winfrey. All right, so today we're talking about the area of a trapezoid. Um, you're going to find the area and then also uh, know what the, how to find the trapezoid's median as well. Okay, so get out your formula sheets and go ahead and write this one in there, in your notes and on your formula sheet. One half height times base one plus base two. Okay, so B stands for base, H stands for the height. Uh, you'll often be referred to the height with altitude, which we know the altitude is another way to say a height of a picture or a shape. Um, also, you can use uh, to find the area of a trapezoid. Notice the notation again. Um, we have capital M, which stands for the median, and uh, that's going to be multiplied by the height. Um, the median is equal to one half B1 plus B2. So you can see the similarities between the two formulas. The formal definition of median is the segment. joining the midpoints of the non-parallel sides. So in the picture, the median will be right there, creating midpoints or congruent parts on the left side and the right side. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to the first example. Uh, push pause, see if you can solve it. Plug it into the formula. Okay, so we have area equals one half height, base one plus base two, and they are giving us all the information of 18 for the height, base one is 11, and 15 are, uh, is the second base. And if you put all of that together, you're going to get uh, nine times 26, and then the answer to that's going to be 234 units squared. Uh, the median in this picture would be the two bases, and then you're going to multiply that by half or just divide that by two, same thing, to get 13 units. Okay, next one again, push pause, see if you can solve this one. And um, since we are trying to find the median, it makes sense to use the median formula. So we have area, which we know is 96. The altitude is 6. And if we divide both by 6, we're going to get 16 units for the median. Okay, the next example. We are starting with, uh, with 1 half equals, I'm sorry, area equals 1 half height. Height, there we go can't write here today. And then uh, we know the area because it says it right here, 997.5 centimeters square. We also know the height because that's given in the picture. And then we know base one is 40, but we do not know that last base. So that's going to be our unknown and we'll just call that X. All right. So after you do a little bit of the math, we can multiply these together and get 10.5 and then uh, do a little distributive property to get uh, 420 plus 10.5x and then again 997.5 and after subtracting 420 to both sides and then dividing by 10.5 we get x equals 55 units okay again push pause see if you can figure it out here we have two trapezoids, and if we are going to find the total area of the given, or given the height of each trapezoid is five. So from here to here is five, from here to here is five, and let's try to figure out how that's going to help us. Area of the top one. Area equals median times height, because the median is the one half base times height or t I'm sorry, one half base one plus base two, and the height is five. So we get a total of uh, 26, so that's 13 times five. So 65 for the top one. And then for the bottom one, we know that between, uh, we have one half, and then five is our height, 
Base 1 is 16, base 2 is 4, 20 and divided by 2 is 10, so that has to be 50 degrees. I didn't mean degrees, 50 units. So for a total of 65 plus 50 equals 115 units squared. Make sure you're labeling on all of them. All right, and that concludes our lesson. So I end with a joke. You throw away the outside and cook the inside. Then you eat the outside and throw away the inside. What did you eat?